Globally, though, the last two days were some of the hottest on record. Yeah, they sure were. Meteorologist and climate specialist Elisa Rafa is in the studio to explain what this means for the future. 15 degrees Celsius, again, the global temperature that was set in August of 2016, and we broke that yesterday with that global average temperature above that, and that was on the 4th of July. And when you look at the map, you can see all of the red, all of these temperatures that have just been pretty steamy. Pretty steamy. And when you look at the anomaly or the difference from average, right, how much above or below average is it, you see many more oranges and reds on the map than any. This morning, three protesters are under arrest for interrupting the action at Wimbledon, throwing confetti and puzzle pieces onto the grass courts. <laughs> It's the latest in an escalating series of protests by climate activists who've also recently vandalized famous paintings, even gluing themselves to works of art to get attention. Observers warn this is likely just the beginning. There's also no question that these tactics are going to escalate, and I think that harm will certainly uh, come to the activists and probably to property and others involved. Just yesterday, climate activist Greta Thunberg was charged by prosecutors for blocking traffic to an oil facility in Sweden. The demonstrations come as much of the globe faces record-breaking heat. Scientists say Tuesday was the hottest day ever recorded on Earth. The average global temperature hit 62.9 degrees, surpassing the previous record set one day earlier. We're going to continue to break records. Um, as climate change continues until that point where emissions and greenhouse gases are no longer accumulating in the atmosphere. Historic heat has been reported this summer from Quebec, Canada to northern China. In the U.S., more than a dozen heat-related deaths in Texas alone. In Death Valley, California, where temperatures have hit 126 degrees, a man was found dead in his car this week. It's been a week of record-breaking heat around the world. The average global temperature on Wednesday hit 62.9 degrees Fahrenheit. According to researchers at the University of Maine, that matched the unofficial record high just set on Tuesday. The grim milestones are the latest in a series of climate change-driven extremes. Out-of-controlled wildfires in Canada have burned millions of acres, displaced tens of thousands of people, and blanketed wide swaths of the U.S. in thick smoke. For more on all these events and what we should take from them. As the Biden administration signals its fight against global warming may actually involve blocking sunlight. The White House posting research claiming, quote, solar radiation modification would enable better informed decisions about the potential risk and benefits. Well, this is actually Bill Gates funding this as well through Harvard University. This is retro 1970s. In the 1970s, they believed that our uh, fossil fuels were creating aerosols, blocking the sun, creating man-made global cooling. So they came up with the same kind of geoengineering solutions back then. They wanted to put black soot on the Arctic to melt it. There was one proposal to use nuclear energy to help loosen the Arctic ice caps because they thought they were growing too much. The situation we are witnessing now is the demonstration that climate change is out of control. Climate change is out of control. If we persist in delaying key measures that are needed, I think we are moving into a catastrophe.